Hey friends out there in YouTube land, Robert Ham here with Robert Ham Photography. Today we're continuing the question and answer with the TL70. This is an Instax camera that's produced by Mint Cameras in Hong Kong. A really interesting camera to use, lots of fun. And if you have not been following my journey, my adventures with this camera over on Instagram, and you are watching here, then you're only getting half the story. Go check out those photos. You can find me at Rob Ham Photo. You can go ahead and follow and see what Mint Cameras is up to at mint-cameras.com. I'm having a blast with it. Today's question goes out to user Rob over there in Amsterdam. Hey Rob, how's it going, man? And you have asked a really great question. Uh, basically, your question a couple days ago to me was about my expectations. And you wanted to know, really, Rob said something, and I'm paraphrasing here along the lines of, Hey man, did you ever think that you'd have such a good time with the camera when you started the project? And that got me thinking, it made me pull out my notes. You see, I've been interested in this camera for about six months prior to actually reviewing the camera and receiving it from Mint. And that's a big deal because I had a lot of time to think about the camera. And when I was researching in stacks, when I was trying to figure out how to get the best out of the actual medium, the film itself, I started looking at other camera companies that are into instant photography. And Mint was one of the companies that was top of my list because of their build quality and what they're trying to do. I particularly liked the company Mint because of the way it started. It was a guy with a dream that put together a small team that made it possible over a couple of years. And I thought that that was really cool. Gary, the founder of Mint Cameras, uh, he, he prototyped the TL70. They started refurbishing old uh, Polaroid 670 cameras and things like that. And then they would even meet in little coffee shops to sell their cameras when they didn't have a building. And they would meet there to help their customers that maybe purchased their cameras out. And I just thought, how cool is that? You see, because I know what it's like to meet someone in a coffee shop and sit down and share my wedding plan with them for their photography. See, I understand that. I, so. The company struck a chord with me from the very beginning because I found commonality between how they started and how my wedding business started, even though it's two completely separate things. Starting in a coffee shop, starting a one-to-one, -one, starting person-to-person -person was a great way to get going and it just stuck with me. So at that point in time, I realized I really wanted to get to know more about Gary and the whole team over there and I started looking and researching the camera. So at first, my expectations were rock solid, but then I started uncovering things online on the internet about problems that people were having with the camera, specifically with its production. You know, it was released in 2015. There may have been some initial production um, quality concern issues that people on the internet blow up and can make a lot bigger than what they actually seem. What I found out, however, was that just like with any other product, there are isolated incidences. There's a small percentage where things may not actually have, uh, where, where things may actually have a problem. And some people did experience real problems. And Mint Camera helped them to have a nice warranty. They even currently have a two-year warranty. If you've got any problems with your camera, you know, they'll do everything that they can to take care of that for you. And that's pretty cool. So they stand behind what they want or what you want. But what ended up happening was... I began seeing more and more images where people were que posting questions like on Reddit and other discussion forums about how to get the best out of this instant camera. And I realized that I had done a lot of work with the Mini 90 on Fuji. I had researched the film in stacks, Mini film quite a bit. And I was getting excellent results with the Mini 90, even results that were very good, if not top of the line, for the other images I was able to find online. And I found that I had a lot of users sending me questions about how I did what I did and how I got the results that I got. So I started posting that. And that got me thinking, if, if that's happening with the Mini 90, you know what, there's probably quite a bit of people that would like the same information with the TL70. But here's the thing, Mint is one of the very few companies out there that has an excellent product, but doesn't have an advertising outlet they don't really share that ex uh, the way to get the best results out of it. And they have some videos and things. I started looking at their media and realized, hey man, I'll bet that the majority of the problems that the users are having actually happen to be just knowledge-based. You know, the, mo the moment we understand how to use the camera better, we will immediately take better photos. Especially in the North American market, they had great YouTube reviewers like Matt Day, 
Take over at Bithead Taco. They had these guys reviewing this camera with great reviews and showing beautiful images at the end of it. So although they gave a really nice deep down review, got thousands of, of likes and thousands of views, which I'm very happy for those reviews. Take and, and Matt Day did a great job helping me understand this camera before I ever had it in my hand. The one thing I noticed that they didn't have any tutorials on how to use the camera. And that got me thinking even more. What we need is someone that can pick up the banner and share real world experiences right now with the camera. And I didn't know what that would mean because that meant I had to get the camera and I wanted it to be a collaboration with Mint. So I reached out to them and said, hey, I've got a project that I would like to do. Um, is this something that you would be interested in? And a few days, maybe a week or so later, I got a response and there was a lot of dialogue about this. And then there was an actual go ahead. There was a yes, we'd like to be a part of this project. And, you know, I was even talking to my sweetheart today. I was like, why did Mint Camera even say yes to that email that was out of the blue? And I'm so thankful that they did. But I sit back and feel how lucky that I am. And I don't even use the term luck. I don't like to think that I'm lucky. But here, here's a company that got started grassroots over in Hong Kong that has produced something relevant today. They made a product that's relevant and then were willing to work with me about it. And so that produced quite a bit of good feeling inside of me, those feels. But then I had to think to myself, you know, they're gonna send me the camera. I'm gonna give you guys my honest opinion of the camera. I'm gonna show you every photo that I take with it. I'm gonna tell you the conditions, I'm gonna write it down, and I'm gonna give my brutally honest review of it. So then I was worried, what if the camera I get really does not live up to the hype? What if there's really something wrong with the camera? And what if the computer, what if the internet has not just made a mountain out of a molehill? What if it really was a mountain in the first place? And I was worried about that because when you work with a company on a partnership and there's a collaboration, of course, they're not paying me for any of this stuff, but they did provide the camera to me. You don't want to, you know, ruin that relationship by saying terrible things about their product. But if it's terrible, guess what? My fans, my viewers, my subs out there, I'm going to give you guys the full Monty. You get the whole deal. So yeah, that, there was an opportunity for me to go out on a limb, get a camera that didn't work well, and then smash it. Not the camera physically, but smash it. Smash all of the hype and say, hey, this thing is no good. So I was worried about that because I didn't want to have to do that. And I didn't have to do that. The beautiful thing is that I blew my first roll, right? But what did I learn from it? I've been learning with this camera ever since. My first 10 shots sucked. You guys can see that over on Instagram right now. Be sure to zoom in on the photo, roll one results, and look at my EXIF information that I wrote down. You'll see they sucked, but immediately I was able to determine how the camera's working. And roll two, roll shots through 11 through 20 were awesome. Roll shots 21 through uh, 30, roll three were amazing nighttime shots. By the time I got to roll four, roll five, and roll six, I'm doing fantastic portraits beautiful portraits, wide open apertures, no ND filters out in the bright light. And you guys can follow all of that over on Instagram. So I'm happy to be able to report that what I found out about the camera is completely different than my expectations going into it. If we get the hype aside and everybody's saying it's great, you know, specifically, if we get that aside, there were some issues. People said they had green banding. People said they had focusing issues. Now, people said that they had all kinds of vignetting. You know, they had all these different issues that were going on there, right? But what I found out is that I have none of those issues, none whatsoever. And I think that the majority of the issues that people had with it actually happened to be user related. They happened to be software, not hardware, not the camera. And that was something I could help Mint with. So I'm continuing this journey right now. I'm about one full seven days into it. I will continue to bring you the unaltered results straight up over there on Instagram. You can see my images. I've already made 14 videos about this camera in a week. That's two a day because I'm having an absolute blast with it. And why, why wouldn't I make so many videos? It's because I'm having such a good time. It's easy to, to be excited about something. When I take a photo, the photo turns out great and then everybody wants one because it's really beautiful. And there are quite a few differences between the TL70, the Mini 90, the Instant Automat, there are many differences between these flagship cameras in their own categories. And I will, I will definitely, I'm, I'm putting together now a good environment to test those and actually share with you my thoughts on all of them. So guys, I just wanted to give you a quick answer to Rob's question. Thanks for answering the question and also give you a premise, a reason, and what my expectations were going into this TL70 project with Mint. 
I'm Robert Ham with Robert Ham Photography. I want to thank you for watching and remind you that I will catch you on the flip side.